A tale of the tape brought to you by Muay Thai Victoria. Chinkana 24, four years the senior of Declan Goldthorpe. The weights are even, both gentlemen on debut here at Roots 25 Pressure Drop, live from the Melbourne Pavilion here in a beautiful Friday night in Melbourne. My name's Steve White, ringside. Maddie from Bones and Andrew Farnham from PTG. PTG. Jay. <laughs> Sorry, it's Friday night, boys. Welcome. Thank you very much, man. What a good looking trio. Like a trio of dip. So <laughs> PTJ would be the pest though. Steve's a good looking bag of hummus and on the carrot dip. And happy to be here too. The crowd's uh, piled in tonight for this one. And nice to be with you again once again, Andrew Parnham. I can't wait for tonight, man. It's just like a Matty sandwich in here. I <laughs> As we can see in the middle, we've got two big old lumps on debut. Declan Goldthorpe coming all the way down from sunny Queensland out of Heart out Muay Thai. Nick Trask is the trainer out there, uh, well renowned uh, in the Muay Thai scene here regionally. And he'll be taking on one of the local lads out of Melton. Hippie Noy in his corner, one of Tim Fisher's Revolution ties. He's been a uh, long stay over here in Melbourne, so quality camps uh, for both lads. So this one, three by three minute rounds at 76 kg, sponsored by Muay Thai Victoria. Abbas in the middle in charge, Chinkotto in the black trunks, Declan Goldthorpe in the white. Declan Goldthorpe on debut. We've got here his last amateur win was with versus a tough local lad here from Melbourne, Ash Sermon. So that's a big win. I believe he was undefeated before that. So expecting big things from the Queenslander. Super excited. I spoke to them in the hotel this evening. Uh, it's his first pro fight. Uh, it's good seeing a southpaw in there too. Big right kicker versus left kicker tonight. 22 centimetre advantage in terms of height to Goldthorpe. Very lanky, rangy fighter. Nice right kick there from Chincotta. Yeah, Chincotta's landed a couple big hard kicks to the breadbasket of Declan Goldthorpe. They'll take the they'll take the gas out of the big tall fella as he as he comes forward, switches stance and lands a left hook. Unorthodox stuff from the blue corner. Already starting to see a little bit of a uh, redness under the forearm there of the South Four boy. Chincotta in the red corner. Just measuring with the hands. Back against the ropes, lands a good hard right hand. Boys going one for one up in the red corner and a hard right kick to finish off that passage of play. Chopping left elbow over the top from Declan. Big D, he's, as he's known up there. He can't make this stuff up. I think second only to Ewan Jones, Big Stones, in terms of the uh, nickname stakes. The best nickname. But I have to say, Chincotta with the uh, choice walkout song, bit of Johnny Cash to get us going. But... Uh, Minute 28 to go, round number one. Just missing with the step up left hook there. Big red uh, marks showing the damage, the wear and tear from the right kick of Chincotta as he, he lands again, but it's a left hand for his return. That left hand of Declan Goldthorpe's been on the money all night. Needs to start to address that right kick. Boys buttons together once again. Big boys, 76 kgs here tonight. Goldthorpe finding a home for that clubbing left hand as uh, Chincotta comes in. Goldthorpe missing with a couple of those left kicks there before. Good head movement. There's a nice little left kick, right kick counter. Good, good dig to the body with the, the left hand. It goes low to the leg of the southpaw as he found himself in the orthodox stance for a moment there, the blue corner. Boys just trade and leather stand on the 50 50 no head movement whatsoever they're keen to get their professional careers underway swing and a miss with the the lead right hand of Declan Goldthorpe big D finally manages to get that check up to prevent the the big right shin of Chincotta from crashing into his ribs once again 10 seconds round number one seeing a bit of a power difference in the kicking there from Chincotta as the big D comes in with a flying knee, just missing. And that's round number one. Entertaining round to get us going here at Roots 25. Yeah, and a good first round for the, the boys in their professional debuts. This be the pressure drop, and you'd expect that there'll be a little bit of weight off their shoulders as we look at the replay. It was the story of the first round was big one, Luck Chincotta's right kick. And the hands, the good hands of Declan Goldthorpe, that Nick Trask trained fighter, he's always had good hands as Nick out at hard out Muay Thai. There's that right shin just thudding into the left rib cage of Goldthorpe. The boys were keen to mix it up 
all of the first round with the hands. There's that pinpoint accuracy of the left straight from Declan Goldthorpe. This bout sponsored by Muay Thai Victoria. Thanks to them for putting it all on this evening. Yeah, and Muay Thai Victoria got a big event coming up again on the 24th of March, just around the corner, and some things in the works too with Muay Thai New South Wales, Andrew Parnham. Exciting times for being able to mix it up between the two states. Can't wait for the nomination to come out for New South Wales versus Victoria, and here we go for round number two. Round two of three by three minute rounds at 76 kg. First fight of the evening to get us going, Declan Goldthorpe and Juan Luchincotta. Yeah, and that hippie, no, hippie noise in the corner of the of the red boy lands a big right hand, which sees Declan wobbled for a second. He's come out hard in the second round. Has Chincotta opened the account with a big right kick, and oh, as he's wobbled a little bit there, takes a backward step, hands low, Cowloy from the blue corner comes in looking to get it done with the hands, but finds a, a determined and resilient one. Chincotta answering the call, rallying here early in the second round. Big body kick there. Right hand of the body as the boys exchange blows now up against the ropes. Big D misses with the left and the left kick as well. He's a big old left kick. He got that one up quickly, didn't he? Got these boys not, not scared to trade a little bit of leather. I think we've got a bit of a power difference in the uh, the kicking from the Victorian boy uh, versus the big... Oh, there we go. Look at that right kick. Oh, here we come now with a big exchange. Big elbow on the way through. Big D throws back. Here we go. He's got him on the back foot again. Yeah, I'd like to see Chin Carter just to go back to the well with that... Oh, big That big right kick, but a big hand just wobbles. Chin Carter looking wobbly now in the neutral corner. He's smart to lock up in the clinch. He's a big, long right knee from Goldthorpe. Wow, both guys just leaving it all in the ring and we're still only halfway through this fight. Yeah, and the hands low now from Chincotta. Goldthorpe showing the ability to get that, that neck kick up high. We'll need to be wary of that as he digs once again to the body on the back foot now, fighting the red corner. And a swing and a miss, spins around like Billy Elliott in centre ring until he returns Chincotta to the ground. Boys back to the middle now. Chin Cotter. Oh, trading blows. Big left kick there from Big D. Right hand just takes it on the gloves there, does Chin Cotter. Yeah, I think the body, I think going to the body is the best, the best bet here for Chin Cotter. I'd like to see him come forward and keep plowing away with that right kick to the ribs, digging to the hands, but just tripling up on the right hand to the head, if you don't mind. A little cut open up on the, the brow of Goldthorpe. That probably won't pay too many dividends as the boys pretty keen to mix oh. it up here in the, in the neutral corner. The mouth guard goes flying into Andrew Parnham's lap. The cut oh. opened up there on the forehead of Declan Goldthorpe. Yeah, there's there's blood oozing out of the the right eye now too of Chincotta. Just a flesh wound, Matty, just a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a oh. deep old flesh wound. She's but a scratch. Blood trickling down the right side of Chincotta. We're about to have a bloodbath here in the commentary booth as the boys meet once again. Goes one, two, Kangaroo, and the big right kick to the body from Chincotta. They build him tough out of Melton, and they'll need to tonight as Goldthorpe just storming forward on a mission. Final clap is round number two, Stephen. And that'll do it. Two, six minutes in the books between Goldthorpe and Chincotta. Matty's uh, wondering why he chose the white T-shirt with a bloodbirth in the middle going on at the moment. But three minutes to go between the debutantes, Goldthorpe and Chincotta, an entertaining one as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, and it was, it was all action straight from the get-go. Opening his account early was Goldthorpe with the big long left hand. And there was some great bodywork right throughout from Chincotta as we see it there coming up with the switch kick. Falls back to the ground, but once again answered the call. Some good work in close from the red corner. He's losing a little bit of balance at times, the Chincotos. He's not able to, to bank on a second phase, but when he started coming forward, it was all bad intentions from the Melton born boy. And there was that hard left hand there from Declan Goldthorpe, who finished strong in the second round before both boys was sliced and diced like a Ginsu 2000. There's those, those beautiful body kicks of 
Juan Luck Chincotto. Love to see him throw some more of those kicks this round. Round number three, Andrew Parnham. And here we go, third and final round. The boys don't want to leave anything behind now. Three minutes non-stop per round as they now just move in. I'd like to see Goldthorpe throw it straight left instead of keep throwing that overhand. But here we go. Oh, there's a big right hand there from Chincotta. The boys exchange heavily. We're only 20 seconds into the third, and here we go, boys. Yeah, hook getting, picking up right where they left off. Oh, sock nut elbow, the right elbow, just trying to find a home once again on the forehead of the blue corner. Boys take a, a second, but a straight back to it. Good right oh. hand on the on the inside from Chincotta, who's, who's keen to draw some more blood here at Roots 25 pressure drop. Oh my God, there we go. A swing and a miss and comes with a spinning back fist. It's on the back foot. King Cotter just misses again. It, big shot to the body. He's looking for elbows, looking for more blood. Overhand right. Yeah. There we go. That right hand to the body. I reckon that's the money from King Cotter. Every time he does it, Goldthorpe takes a big deep breath. A beautiful step up left knee and chops away once again with the right elbow. Boy's starting to look a little bit tired now. Oh my goodness, Big D, just when you think he's had enough, he's coming back, head down, swinging. Here we are, the boys in the black corner throwing down. I, I agree with you there, Matty. I think the uh, the Chincotta should be going down low rather than head hunting the whole time. But look at them go now as we go into the second stanza of the third and final round. Yeah, I feel like this fight now is whoever wants to really get behind themselves, back themselves right to the home stretch as we see Chincotta start to come forward, pushing Goldthorpe backwards, who just a big old club and left hand to a left elbow. And we've got another cut there on the cheek of Chincotta. The boys exchange, big D up against the ropes. Chincotta goes down low, sizing him up, goes to the body like Matty said. Chincotta goes up again. Here we go, he's got him on the ropes. Can he finish the deal? Yeah, and Goldthorpe takes a big deep breath. 50 seconds now left on the clock. This is only fight number one, folks. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are calling it. And I have the big right hand from Chincotta. Triples up, quadruples up. And a big left kick. S swing and a miss from Goldthorpe. Marching forward, hands low, hands in his pockets like he's searching for his wallet. <laughs> Here we go. Nice left knee there from Big D. Needs to step forward, look for more of those long knees. He's been using everything up the top. There's a big left hand down the pipe, as we spoke about before. Step up knee, just missing. Left hand down the pipe. Chincotta sends one back. Big deep breath there from Big D. Chincotta goes down low. Ten seconds oh, left. Oh! Dropped him at the end. Slip. I slipped. Got ahead of myself. But <laughs> and there we go. Abbas says box on, and there we have it, gentlemen. Well, to the judges' scorecards, we will go. What a debut from both John Luke Sinconner and Declan Goldthorpe. Throwing absolutely everything. And, well, what a, what a start to Roots 25 pressure drop here at the Melbourne Pavilion, gentlemen, as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, far out. There's plenty of action to call on the replay as we, we saw Goldthorpe just looking for the finish. He just wanted to get this one over and done with. And there was moments right throughout this fight as where the boys seemed hurt, seemed like they didn't have anything left in the tank. But this pro day boom means so much to them on the biggest stage. Roots 25 pressure drop. And every time we thought they were done, they just came back with more. How's that right hand that he quadrupled up on Chin Cotter? And there's the beautiful left knees from Declan Goldthorpe that really sucked some gas out of him. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we head to the judges podcast for a decision. Your first judge got the contest 29, 28, Chin Cotter. Your second judge got the contest 29, 28, Goldthorpe. Your third and deciding judge got the contest 29 28 to your winner via split points decision. Red corner, Jean Luc Chin Carter! So Jean Luc Chin Carter gets the victory on debut against Jackson Goldthorpe here at 25 pressure drop. What a performance. We'll be back with more of Roots right after this.